Muscat is a port, the like of which cannot be found in the whole world, where there is business and good things that cannot be found elsewhere. Muscat means safe anchorage. Muscat showcases the seamless blend of traditional culture with bustling modern capital. Old Muscat is like a small town where time decided to tick at a slower pace. <laughs> the gloriousness of the Sultan Qaboos Grand Mosque strikes you as soon as you see it. And inside, it is just as magnificent. An architectural wonder both on the outside and inside. The major feature of the mosque is the main prayer hall, where a single Persian carpet of 4,343 square meters is laid out along with a crystal chandelier with gold-plated metalwork and 1,122 lights hanging from the highest point of the dome. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? Good, good. I heard that you guys have the best camel milk products in town. Yes, sir, you're right. You've come to the right place. This okay. is the first camel milk coffee shop in Oman. Mm -hmm. And what do you have? Uh, we have coffees like cappuccino with camel milk, okay. also cafe latte. We also, have, yeah, we also have the karak chai. This is a black tea with milk. Oh, yeah, I tried that one. Yeah. Perfect. Wow, tasty. This is the best cappuccino with camel milk that I've ever had in my life. Just kidding. Because I've never had anything with camel milk before, but I would definitely recommend it to everyone and I will have it for sure again. This is an environmental project started by Avenues Mall to teach Omani children about the environment, our planet, food, food sources, organic farming, etc. Kids from different schools come here. They have their own planter boxes with name tags on them. They learn how to plant seeds, how to mix soil with compost, how to water seeds. And they can come back here after two weeks and take these little plants home. The story of aromatic incense doesn't end at the Matrah Sok. In a very chic restaurant called Alumi, my friend Ahmad uses the best quality Bukhur to provide a relaxing environment for visitors like me. Can you smell it? Yeah. 
nicer than the other one. That was too spicy. Well, the main uh, reason we use Bukhur over here, one of the main reasons is uh, our occasions is big when we do the weddings. And the bride actually has to cover herself. They get somebody to cover her and massage her with um, actual these, uh, essential Arabic oils like ambar and sambar and all of that for about 40 days. Okay, it's like marinating a chicken. <laughs> big portions. Mm -hmm. That's how most of us eat here in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. We don't believe in small portions. The bigger the plate, the better. <laughs> <laughs> This is the big dish that you were talking about. Well, it's a small one for today, but yes, this is a, <laughs> this, this is, is yeah, this is for a small family. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Many Oman conjures up an image of dry, sandy, and inhospitable deserts. And although the rolling dunes certainly play their role in the country's stunning landscape, the Sultanate actually has incredible flora and fauna for us to discover. Wadi TV is a spectacularly deep and narrow gorge carved out of the mountains, running between towering cliffs right down to the sea. With its string of emerald pools and thick plantations, Wadi TV almost rivals other wadis in beauty, especially in the spring, when the allotments turn a vivid green. Known as the Wadi of Nine Villages, there are excellent walking opportunities through the small villages that line the road. our guest normally with uh, in our houses with the coffee coffee with Arabs it's not mean only a drink mm -hmm. it's mean much for Arabs much tradition ma, ma. it's mean the welcoming of of the guest as much you are uh, have the coffee it's mean you like the the place where the and when it's enough mm -hmm. you can just check the okay. shake your cups mm -hmm. and all the people to, to understand that's you have enough coffee. Mm -hmm. One of Muscat's most famous shopping experiences lies in Matrah, the Matrah Souk. The maze-like alleyways are always buzzing with activity, and it is renowned as one of the best souks in the region. The Warren-like souk is still a source of many Omani families' daily household supplies, as well as a draw for souvenir hunting tourists. Pretty sharp. This dagger was used back in the old days to fight against enemies and invaders. But today, the country has been in peace for many years. And this became a very important symbol for Oman and Omani people. It got printed on the Omani flag. This is how important this dagger is. And today, Omani men uh, wearing this as part of their traditional outfit in very special events and ceremonies like weddings and maybe a national day event. How does it look like?
you will find all the usual things like pashminas and tacky souvenirs, household goods, and scented oils. But you will also discover plenty of tiny shops stacked to the ceiling with dusty Omani silver and plenty of quality frankincense. So, what, what's the use of this one? This first small tree. No, I mean, uh, what do you do with this one? I mean, do you also... You can eat, you can eat. Oh, you can eat this yeah, one? Yeah, I'm for water, I'm for fire. Three types. For water, uh, you mean you put it in water and... Uh... This money, this uh, one glass, this uh -huh. cup, five o'clock uh -huh. time. This one glass is good for clean. Different fragrances, it's like five type. Uh -huh. Different smell. But why Why people have this before? Uh, this and why I'm do you have it For clothes, for house, no bacteria come in house. Do you have any local music, like from, from the region? Is this yeah, like local uh, Oman music, but they give what some... Well, what is this? What about this region? Like uh, the far region? The far region well, uh, clear. You can see, listen to the Nana, it's clear. What is it called? Nana. 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 Nana, Nana yeah. music. Nana music. H how is it? Right, let me, let you sing for me. Wait, hold on. Uh, Nana. Nana. Right, sing a little bit for me. Na 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 Oman is home to the frankincense tree, which grows only in Zofar, part of Yemen and Somalia. For hundreds of years, frankincense was more valuable than gold and Zofar frankincense was said to be the finest and purest in the world. And uh, how, do you, how do you extract the, the frankincense from, from the tree? Actually, the, the professional people in some families, they make like a cut on the, on the branch uh -huh. and wait for uh, 10 to uh, 2 weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, 10 days to 2 weeks, after that you can see the sap go, coming out, then they collect it. Nabi Ayyub, also known as the Prophet Job, was a respected religious figure who is said to have used this area to conduct his daily prayers. He dedicated his life to God and was put to rest in the same spot. This is amazing, uh, a prayer room, or maybe uh, a uh, small mosque back in the old days, right next to the tomb of Nabi Ayyub or Prophet Ayyub. I've never seen anything like this before because the place has two qiblas, one towards Jerusalem and one towards Mecca. Yes, that's right. You know, that's back when the Prophet Muhammad asked uh, their Muslim in beginning Islam to change their Direction or their qibla. Qibla means direction. When the Muslims pray in Arabic, in Arabic, uh, okay. in Arabic, qibla uh, is uh, direction. Mm -hmm. So they change their qibla or their direction to Mecca. In religious terms, this tomb is probably the most important site in Dhofar. Regardless of your religious convictions, the tomb situated on an isolated hilltop is a must see. In one of the cities of Zofar region, which is called Mirbat, you can visit Wadi Darbat with lush green surroundings, surprising cool and pleasant atmosphere, of which you can relax and enjoy nature. Can you really believe this? It's actually winter time. I'm sitting in the sun with a t-shirt. It's unbelievable. This is south of Oman, uh, Zufar region, uh, which is famous for its natural sceneries and, and wadis. And uh, specifically this wadi, which is Wadi Darbat. 
I uh, definitely want to come back to this uh, heaven sometime in, uh, in summer, uh, maybe next year. I don't know if I can wait until that time. Wadi Darbat is the most beautiful and scenic spot in Salana for the mountain and spring lovers. The most unexpected site in Zofar Mountains, Wadi Darbat and surroundings are the biggest spring in Salana. It's like our friends are chilling here. I don't want to bother them. I want to get them angry, actually. So, I better go a different direction. <laughs> A bit off the beaten path, but not by much, since it is just off the main road between Salala and Mirbat. This great little fort, which is called Taqa, is right in the center of town. And it is perfectly restored with great exhibits of how people live in this area since the 19th century. Do you realize how narrow the stairways are in this fort? There's only room for one person to go up and down. If I pause for a second, this camera guy is going to run into me and fall up the stairs. But I don't want to lose him for at least another couple of days. While forts were built primarily as structures for military defense, they also served as points of convergence for political, social, and community activity. Therefore, some forts have palatial, luxurious interiors hidden behind their stark exteriors and make for fascinating exploration. This small but well-preserved castle was built in the 19th century. Oman is a story, maybe a folk tale of the famous 1001 Nights. In that case, I only heard one story. A story of a peaceful nation that combines modernity and tradition. And there are 1,000 more stories to be heard. <laughs> <laughs> 